I'm so glad to be here to take this lie detector test. I hope to put some people's minds at ease. Debbie? Yes. I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Welcome Debbie. to Beverly Hills. Thank you. Well, everything was great, and then it came time to talk a little bit about the issue of the day of the shooting, and she made it clear, as she has consistently, that she doesn't remember anything. I changed the question to, do you remember deliberately cutting yourself with a knife on the day of the shooting? And if she truly doesn't remember, the answer is no, she should pass this polygraph test. But she's not comfortable with that no answer. I'm not trying to give you a dishonest answer. That's all I wanted to do was go to work. And he took the keys to my truck. If he would have let me went to work that night, it wouldn't have never happened. I wouldn't have got overloaded with stress. Why couldn't he have just let me go to work that night <laughs> instead of push me and push me and push me? That I'm not gonna sit here and take a lie detector test for something that I cannot remember. I think it's unfair and I'm not going to do it. Emotionally, she's not capable of taking an exam. My recommendation is that we'll just pack up and let Dr. Phil take it from here. Jack, thank you so much for being here. So the test was not going to be, did you cut yourself, but just simply, do you remember cutting yourself? Exactly. So testing her recollection not the act, just do you remember it? Yes. Are you telling the truth about remembering it or not remembering it? That was the question. She doesn't care whether That's you cut yourself, she just wants to know if you're telling the truth. That's where I got confused while we were talking and then I got upset because I couldn't get it right in my mind. Well, in addition to being a polygraph examiner and trainer, right. Jack is also a profiler. Right. Jack, she's right-handed, and the scar is on her left forearm. Um, what do you make of that? Well, going into the polygraph exam, I don't make anything of it. But post-exam, or our attempt at the exam, um, I asked her to show me the wound, which was on her left forearm. Mm -hmm. And I noticed when you signed your consent to interview and polygraph with me, that you were right-handed. Yes, sir. And so, in my experience, when someone makes a self-inflicted wounds, they would, if they're right-handed, they come across this way, and if they're left-handed, they would come across right. this way, and, uh, and yours was consistent with something that might have been inflicted upon yourself. Okay. Did you injure yourself to make your position more believable? You not once the whole time have ever asked me. Mom, were you okay when he hit you? You've never asked this boy right here how he reacted, how he was okay after he got abused. You want to know the question? Yes, I cut myself because I was afraid about what the law would do to me. She told you the truth. What do you say about that? Thank you for telling me the truth. Thank you. I'm going to set you guys up with Doctor on Demand. And Doctor on Demand is a medical service, but it also provides psychological services where you can do this from your own home. You don't need to get in your car and drive somewhere. You can be in front of a board certified doctoral level family therapist that can work with all of you individually and together right from the privacy of your own home. And I'm gonna handpick that, I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna make it possible for you to do this immediately. And I wanna start with you two and then add mom into this mix because we've got to start putting some positives into this family.
And if you at home want your own Doctor On Demand, just go to Google Play Store or iTunes App Store and you can download the Doctor On Demand app. I'm very proud of this company. Uh, my son Jay and I worked on it very hard.